Good morning, Paul here from Interesting Places. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to do a video slightly different. Um, I had a couple of questions on the internet off a few viewers regarding genealogy and how I go about these searches. Uh, some of them are potluck, some of them are quite easy to find, and some of them you will never find. It's the same with family history. Uh, if you don't get the trail straight away, then it can just come to a head. Sometimes you end up going down the wrong channel. Sometimes you will never find the person. Um, so it can be very misleading. I've been a genealogist with the local council uh, up to about five years ago for over 30 years. Uh, I was a local family uh, researcher. So I know I've had quite a few failures in my past. When I started doing the videos on YouTube, I actually thought to myself, let's make a bucket list. People that I really wanted to, if I could, find their grave. So I made a list of the celebrities, i.e. TV personalities, movie stars, musical stars, and I made a list of probably about 15 that I wouldn't mind finding. Uh, and this lady was one of them. But straight away, it came to a head. Within minutes, I could tell this was gonna go nowhere. I started looking for this lady probably February, and instantly it came to a dead end. She was cremated and her ashes were collected by a family member. So straight away, this research stopped because you don't know where they go. You don't know if they go to a churchyard. They don't know if they go to a graveyard. You don't even know if the family keep the ashes. So I basically put this on the back burner and about six weeks later, I decided to pick up the trail again and see if I could find any more information. And eventually, I found it. Well, this was another one of those videos that took a lot of research. Um, and she's not buried where everybody would think she would be buried. So therefore, I'm not going to tell you the location. The person I'm looking for was born Sylvia Ann Butterfield on the 8th of November, 1939 in Leeds. Better known to you and me as actress Liz Dawn or Vera Duckworth from the long running TV soap opera, Coronation Street. She was best known to British television viewers as Tart Tongue Vera Duckworth in the soap opera Coronation Street for more than 30 years. She started her entertainment career as a nightclub singer, but by the late 1960s and 1970s had gradually moved into television commercials and small television parts. Besides Coronation Street, she appeared in such British television series as Play For Today, Crown Court, The Wheel Tappers and Shunters Social Club and Emmerdale. For a long-time role on Coronation Street, she was honoured with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2008 British Soap Opera Awards. She was also honoured with an MBE at the 2000 Queen Birthday Honours. Liz Dawn was diagnosed with emphysema and she was written out of the soap in 2008 when Vera died in her sleep. Liz Dawn died on the 25th of September 2017 in Whitefield, Bury, Greater Manchester. A funeral was held on the 6th of October 2017 at Salford Cathedral and was attended by all the cast from Coronation Street. Well, that leaves me time enough to show you the final resting place of actress Liz Dawn.
cherished memories of a dear wife, mum, grandma and great-grandma, Sylvia Ann Ibbotson. Liz Dawn, MBE, died the 25th of September 2017, aged 77. Those we love don't go away, they walk beside us every day. And that's the final resting place of actress Liz Dawn. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Not a lot of this walker. It's her I want to say. Me, me, love. Who was I with last night? Yeah, we got that sorted out. Now, who were you with last night? No, it don't always follow. And you know it doesn't. So, who were you with last night? Yeah, well, that's probably what it is, I know. I suppose you've been stuck there thinking I'm the joke. You are, Miss Cow. And I'm going to see a face, I know. Do you know you know, Mama? She's going to catch